Morning girls, how are we doing? Back here again with Chantal and definitely not Salah. This is what's next for me. The one thing I want to quickly cover first is the community tab post because after she had posted this, I was a wee bit late to it. The community tab post, she suddenly posted like a picture of herself. She wasn't wearing her full abaya anymore. She was wearing like trousers and a sweater, which yes, yeah, still keeps her modest, but it's not like an actual abaya. Uh, and of course, for some reason, she had to be like, hi there, I'm wearing a 3X sweater right now. You know, an entirely inhuman thing to say. You've never walked up to someone around me and be like, hi there, I'm wearing a 3X sweaters like okay bro and it was so obvious that she was like trying to like convince people by the way i'm not as fat as you think i am because everyone laughed at her and was like okay sure 3x and then she like the next picture was her proving it was 3x but taking a picture of like the the, the the tag on the inside and it's like bro it would not put i wouldn't put it past you buying two sweaters one 6x and one 3x just so you could do that because it was so clearly what you were angling at <laughs> she's, obviously she's not a she, she into her body or anything like that even though you know the faking the weigh-ins the filters everything like that no no guys she's not afraid of her body if she was 6x she would probably show off she's not she's not ashamed in any way um and then obviously the last one was her as a good devout christian uh, sorry muslim woman so I, I got confused because uh she is out advertising christmas and Christmas cameos, and please donate to me, please, oh dear God, please give me money, so I can bore, buy more Morris uh, 3X sweaters, I guess. Let's just get straight into this. Okay, let's get into it. This is her in her lovely, uh, totally 3X uh, Morris. Um, why does her face look so much wrong? Oh yeah, it's because she's not wearing like the full hijab covering like all the way down to like, here on her fucking cheeks. Okay, that's maybe why her face looks so much more fucking massive than usual. Uh, holy actual shit. Oh, she's still got a wedding ring, guys. The wedding's still on. Well, hello, guys. Hi. Well, hello, back guys. To video. So, uh, as you probably saw it's from my part ridiculous. one of my travel journey back to Canada, I'm in Canada, and I'm just parked at a park here. Was that, um, your, just gonna tell was you that a part one? It wasn't, like, part one and all? Because, like, it was that was the travel back. Now she's just in Canada, sitting in a park. <laughs> I, I guarantee you'll be looking at this park being like, is this near the Eid House? Has she bought Coke yet? <laughs> a bit about how I've been doing, a little bit more details about I don't my know trip if I and care. all this and that. So, oh, yeah. Um, One thing I forgot to say is because during the community tab post, she did this ridiculous thing when she's showing off her mm, definitely 3X Maury sweatshirt. She randomly made a point. It's like, thank you so much, guys, for all the love and support that you've given me because I, I've got over 500 likes on my recent vlog. And it was like, it was this one. But I literally just looked and the likes and dislikes are disabled like all of her videos. So she, like... What, what's she talking about? She's now disabled likes and dislikes, but it's now pretending that she's getting like way more likes on her, all of her fucking videos. It's really embarrassing. It's like, bro, we can see that they're disabled. Like, we, we can see that. Like, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have a swig of my. <laughs> yes, I'm still drinking uh, it. This yeah, sure. Mate. I rely on this in the mornings now for energy, and if I didn't have this before this my the morning travel, day, I would be in big trouble for sure. energy levels. Trust Where me. you didn't mention it once. And I like the energy it gives me. Mmm, tastes like sweet tea, but unsweetened and not really like tea. Mmm. No, like a, a crash after. You know, if you have like a strong espresso or something. I wasn't sure if that glitch was mine anyway. or hers. Um, <laughs> so, basically, I am feeling a lot better. That travel journey is just... I cannot do that for a long time. It's I'm just not in good shape enough for that. Yeah. And, you know... Wouldn't that be like incentive to like, you know, lose weight? I keep saying this. Because these people keep coming out and saying, like, really stupid shit. Like, I really want to travel more, but I can't because I'm fat. Or I really want to go out for walks with my husband, but I can't because I'm too fat. And you're just sitting there going, like, then why don't you just lose the fucking weight? <laughs> like, it's over and over and over again, just listing off all the shit that they can't do because they're so fat. And you're just sitting there going, like, there's, like, a solution to that, isn't there? Like, isn't it pretty obvious what the solution is? But they never seem to get there. They never get to that point where it's like, oh, actually, you know what? I might as well lose the weight. Hell, we're right now on the I could be dead tomorrow storyline. And we're still like, oh, you know, but whatever. Oh, I need to get in better shape before wow. I can definitely Imagine. do, uh, you know, total 25 hours of traveling. Um, because the flight and the layover and all that included was like over 21 hours. So... But then if I calculate also, I had to take a bus from Montreal to Ottawa. And then I had to get my car. I had to. So your mom didn't like you enough to go in and pick you up or anything like that? I wanted that part of the story. I wanted that part of the fucking travel vlog where it's her awkwardly sitting on public transport having a panic attack because Canada 
I, based on what I've seen of Q8, Canada is considerably busier than Q8 is. And this is the woman who said she couldn't go outside most of the time because she had really bad social anxiety. But apparently it was totally fine for her to get home and just sit on a public transport bus like across half the country. I don't know where the, those two cities are. They might be very close to each other. I have no fucking idea. But like, why didn't your mom pick you up? Surely your mom would have been rushing to see you because it's like, well, well Chantelle, I haven't seen you in a year now. I really wanted to see you. I was like, no, she had to get a bus. I was like, oh no, did him boo take um, a taxi to get my car crazy so where it was parked so yeah and now here i am i am uh you know woke up pretty early because i car. crashed like i tried to stay up so i could fix my sleep pattern i took that opportunity yeah sure um so i woke up at do you not have just another unimate do you not just have another unimate would have conv convinced your body to stay up with amazing energy reserves and such but no crash maybe 7 a.m and uh, I'm gonna have myself, I'm gonna take myself out for breakfast. Sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get, but I'm probably gonna go to like some halal place or something. So, she, I'm, yeah, or me, I probably, yeah, hal, uh, yeah ha, 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 halal place, you know, something like that, guys. Halal or something now. That's how much we've already taken a step away from the devout Muslim lady. So she's pretending that she got up at 7 a.m. Like, oh, okay, bro, I'm, I'm probably gonna head out to breakfast. Wouldn't it still be dark? Wouldn't it still be dark if it's like, not long after 7 a.m. and she was out waiting for her fucking breakfast. We'll see. And, yeah, um, we'll see if I have halal or not. You know, getting settled in and everything like that. Um, so yeah, so for the travel journey, oh my gosh. Uh, now, I, I usually fly with Qatar Airways. I can't believe we're getting like a director's cut of the fucking travel bit. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, I've seen people like speculating that the reason she goes to flying Qatar this time and flying with Emirates is that her mom probably paid for her ticket for her, probably because she was struggling so much to actually get home. When I do international travel, and Qatar Airways is really, really- I usually fly with Qatar when I do international travel. Bro, you've done international travel like twice. <laughs> can, can, we, can we politely please fucking not? She has made this like trip twice, and that is their only international travel apart from like Cuba. But like, isn't Cuba like a couple hour flight? I don't really think anyone's like, oh my god, it's international. Uh, come the fuck up, bro. This is the, as an experienced flyer, I prefer flying Qatar. Okay. Really, really good uh, airline. They're really good. And they I won't say sponsor you. Emirates, they don't care. I'm flying Emirates. They're very, very small note, very small chain, like uh, differences, I should say. There's uh -huh. very small differences. Yeah, in like quality. in all planes. Um, this is the thing. This is when, like, a fucking, like, 500-pound woman who has never really traveled before apart from to Q8, when she's coming out and saying, well, when I fly international, I like to fly this airline. It's like, yeah, if that's the only airline you've ever flown on, you can't comment on the differences between the airlines because they're much in a muchness. I've flown with lots of different companies. They're all very similar. It just changes, like, what food you might expect to get. It's not, like, the seat sizes are generally the same. The seat comfort is generally the same. Maybe the first class experience is different. But, like, if you're sitting just in the bag, it's, who cares? You, you're just sitting in a seat, like, watching movies. Like, half of them have the same fucking movies. The food, both on both airlines, is very good. The seats in Emirates are a little more comfortable for me, I find. Uh-huh. Um... Maybe that's because you had more cushion when you are sitting there. Maybe just because you're extra fat. Now you just think it's extra comfy when you're sitting down. Qatar Airways seats, though, are a little bit bigger. Well, no. I don't think Qatar Airways uh, like seats are a little bit bigger. You're just a little bit fatter. Like I, I, I'm going to go for like the obvious answer here. Maybe Qatar Airlines not having a larger seat. Maybe it is you're just fatter since the last time you were on a plane, and that's why it feels smaller. It's like if you put on a 2X... And I'm putting on the same 2X. The 2X hasn't changed size. You're just fatter. A little bit bigger. Because uh, in Qatar, I could still put the armrest all the way down. It's tight. But at, uh -huh. in Emirates, I could barely, I couldn't do it. So, I could barely, I couldn't yeah. do it. The I could barely, I couldn't do it. So she could do it barely, but also couldn't do it. I could barely, couldn't do it. <laughs> Fan fucking fantastic. No, it's because you're fatter. That's, that's why. It's because you're fatter. Because you're constantly getting fatter remember this is the woman herself who's acting like she had gained weight recently and now she's acting stunned that she couldn't put down the armrest in the in the seat it's like why why for a woman who's like acting like her health is suddenly gotten so much worse she's put on weight she's feeling horrible but for for this one incident weirdly she is like not accepting that it's to do with her weight it's very weird
Customer service is really good in Emirates. It's really good in it's Qatar too. Really good in all. So, like of them. I said, they're very. I can't even no notice huge differences. Yes, because there isn't. Maybe a bit comfortable, like the the headrest of the seats. Um, the headrest. The ambiance. <laughs> the headrest. Head, I love that touch of the the cab. The ambiance in the night. Mm, the ambiance. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna fly Emirates from now on because the, the ambiance, guys. I think is it a nice touch? Yeah. Would it make any fucking difference to me on a plane at all? No been just lighting up with like a starlit sky kind of uh look such it, a good ambiance little effects but um i don't know i don't know what to say yeah so uh, yeah, i like both you. airlines it just depends which one has a better price of course you know and uh she is really struggling to make this like just like it is just like a pointless ramble of a woman who hasn't ever been on any other planes comparing like the two planes she's ever been on i'm being like i don't know they're they're pretty similar it's like yeah it's a plane bro it's a plane the, the biggest comparison you'll get is if you're on like a 747 versus like a 777 or something like that. Those are the, those are the differences. Like what model plane you're on is the, more than likely what you're going to experience as being the difference in them. Not not like what airline you fly with because they're all pretty much the same when you're on long haul international flights because they all kind of follow the same situations and procedures. So, I mean, yeah, it just depends what you're willing to pay. There were a lot cheaper, but there's some airlines I'm just not willing to fly with. I won't get into that, and so I always like to choose international. You should get into Qatar or Emirates. Now, customers, you should get into that. That's that's the kind of thing you should talk about. It's like, why wouldn't you fly with certain? There's, this, there's certain flights I just wouldn't fly with. It's like, why? You're, you're you've never been on them before. I'm assuming she's going to tie it into the fact that she's obsessed with like air crash. Look at the size of her fucking face here. Holy shit! Is it when she's sitting at this angle, like the the, the filter can't capture her right or something like this? Or am I just constantly mind blown because she doesn't have up to this part covered? And it's like, Jesus Christ, we're seeing what she had hidden under the fucking hijab the entire time. Because that's fucking wild. But yeah, like, why like why would you suddenly be like, oh, there's certain flights I just wouldn't go on? It's like, tell me about that. Say, say why. Instead of just all this pointless shit about comparing two planes that are basically identical, tell me about that shit. Service wise for Emirates, I was very impressed because. Um, We're serious, even customer service so again. I'm a bigger person. So We've already done customer her. service again. In Kuwait with Salah, and he's so sweet and supportive. <laughs> with, with Salah, well, I mean, the outline of Salah, because he had her immediately fucking just turned and sprinted out the door. It was really weird of him to do that. He must he must have been really sad and like heartbroken and not wanting to say goodbye to me. That's why I think he left so quickly. And he was really worried that I. Was he? Was he? With me. Even though I've done this travel before, was he? but he's always worried when he's not with me that, uh, you know. Even though I've done this travel before, okay, yeah, like twice, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just so embarrassing that we've now got her retelling the story of her flight. She's like, you know, we saw it. We literally saw it there a second ago, and she could have filmed it, but she chose not to. So now she can be like. I'm not going to tell you the director's cut off it. And it basically is to say, oh, Sal was so worried about me. He was with me like the entire time. And it's like, you could have filmed that. You could have filmed like any of that. But you just, I, I guess, decided not to. He, he, he can't be there to help support me with like carrying things sure. for me. Sure. Oh, yeah. You know, um, whatever I Why would he be carrying things for you? Like, it was just like you literally had one bag. What? <laughs> carrying things for me. You had one bag. Well, I'm trying to remember what it was, but there was a time when they were out in Thailand and like Salah was just kind of walking along ahead, like casually with his hands in his pocket and she was carrying the fucking shit that they brought out with him that day. She was carrying all the shopping and something like that. Salah was just walking along ahead because he's just like, well, I don't fucking care. She's not my actual wife. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to help her. And he was very supportive like that in, in sure. Thailand. So I'm going to say I did miss that. I, no, I, I literally miss. just said he did. But it was fine. But he would, you know, stop, you know, ask the lady at the desk and say, uh, you know, is there anyone who can help her from this gate? You need to go into the gate. Said, Babe, I'm fine. What I'm going to be okay. It's like, are you sure? Because he knows I haven't been feeling the best. Yeah, 100% definitely. That's what, that's, that, that, that's, a, that's a ploy you'd use to try and get out of this fucking contract I, I, I'm sorry he, he was so worried but he's going up and asking people please is there anyone that can help her isn't Kuwait like the most obese city uh, uh, country in the world wouldn't they kind of be prepared for shit like this like morally obese people traveling through the airport like we didn't we just like I'm trying to remember the, the exact flight thing because it was so boring and repetitive compared to everything else didn't she just kind of show up at the gate wasn't didn't we just like have her teleport to the gate like more or less and that was it like, we didn't get really a lot of walking or anything. She might have been pushed in a wheelchair the entire fucking way there, for all we know. But she's probably like, no, guys, I walked the entire way myself. So I'm like, yes, I'm fine. Uh, I've been having back problems. So of course, anyways, you're fucking super morbidly obese. And all that stuff. So anyways. <laughs> um, Yeah, so we get to the counter, and the woman was so nice. And uh, she says, you know, 
I, I guess she noticed my size. And I, I guess she noticed my size. I don't know how she did. They must hire like sizeologists or something like that to work in customer services. Because I thought I thought I hit it pretty well. I didn't realize that filters don't actually work in real life. I was kind of confused by that. But when she said, ma'am, you look a little large. I was like, what? Jesus, fuck. I guess she noticed my size, guys. I can't, I can't believe that that's what this video is. What's next for me? The uh, So far, the entire video has been her doing her director's cut of her traveling back to Canada. And it is just about her doing things herself. Salah being super nice and supportive and caring about her. Her comparing two planes, like the only two planes she's ever been on. Who gives a shit? It's always been kind of in the mind. I've been lucky. I don't need two seats. You know, I'm just in this like yes, this denial state. All right. And, uh, Except the fact that you like I, I love she like side eyed the fucking camera when she said that bit. It's like when you see her in chat, like um saying something ridiculous in chat. You always see her eyes dart down to chat, like she's looking to see if chat believes whatever nonsense she just fucking said. She's actually side eyeing the camera while saying this fucking fairy tale. Like I always, you know, didn't believe that I needed two seats. Suspicious that you always seem to have a free seat next to you. Like suspicious that. When you obviously either bought them, or there's one time, I think, I can't I can't remember, I think it was like her first time she flew from Canada to, Q to Kuwait, she claimed that the stewardess had like moved the person sitting next to her to a different seat to give her a second seat. Because I remember people thinking that she was a piece of shit for doing that, because like you just affected that guy's flight because you're too fat to buy, and, and too cheap, broke to buy two fucking seats. So she, she called someone over and she's like, please wait. And, um, she called someone over and said, please wait. She said, okay, so which person? seat do you have? Uh, you know, you have this seat. And I paid extra for it. And what? for like a premium seat. Sure. I believe And it. she says, if you like, we can wow, switch Wow, my God. She is like trying so hard to think of this lie. She's going, you can see her eyes jittering from side to side. As she's trying to think of this lie as she goes. Like, this is why I always say, just plan your lie in advance. That's all you need to do before you come on and make these videos. Her, Amber, Boogie, they all do this. I think it's because of the narcissism. They all think, well, I'm like an amazing person. I'm like the best person who's ever been a person. So I'm like awesome at everything. Well, if I need to make up the story, I could easily make it up on the fly. I don't need to plan ahead. Why does someone like me need to plan ahead? I'm already incredible. I think that's what actually is going through her fucking head here. Because like, she's just so blatantly making this up as she goes along. And it sounds so awkward seat to we'll give you a seat and for extra roominess for your comfort we'll block off the seat beside you so that there's no one sitting there i said oh i said well do you, do you need to pay for two seats like if you think that you know sign okay so she, she definitely bought so like this whole story is she definitely bought two seats because now they are just blocking off a seat even though like on her original thing she made a specific point that the entire plane was basically empty even though she filmed before like, you could still see people were starting to filter in when she was filming. Probably because they looked at someone like her and she is, like, fucking 500, 450 pounds, 500 pounds. And they probably thought, okay, fuck it. We'll put her on first because she is going to be... If we put her down the aisle after everyone else gets on, her fucking ass cheeks are going to be slapping everyone in the face in the entire fucking walk down. We might as well get her in first. And that's why when she filmed, the airplane looked empty. But now the airplane wasn't empty, so there was a free seat. Now, instead, they specifically blocked off the seats for her. A bit different than what you said, like literally last video. Size wise, with your seats, I won't be. Able, I'll be encroaching. I won't be able to fit. Won't be comfortable because it's yeah. thirteen, not fourteen hours. Because right? you're super morally obese, yeah. So, and I had this in mind. I was a bit worried, you know. I just felt. Did you have? Maybe it? I'll need to buy two seats. So I had that plan in mind that. Maybe, I, maybe I'll, I, I was thinking maybe I'll need to buy two seats. Yeah, unlike everyone always tells her, anytime she travels, you need at least two seats. You're super morally obese. She gets told that constantly. And now she's trying to pretend. Oh no, I, well, I was thinking about it, guys. It did happen in the back of my mind. It's like, well, it would have been a bit too fucking late if you showed up at the airport. And it's like, oh, well, shrug. Guess I'm just sticking one seat then. Obviously, you bought two seats. Can we just drop this LARP? It doesn't make me think you're more impressive. Like, it makes me think you're... It, it, if I was to believe that she didn't buy two seats, it's because she's too broke to buy two seats. That is... It is either she's too broke to buy two seats or she's too ignorant to buy two seats. It is one of the two. I might have to buy two seats. So... Uh, I said, you know, do I need to buy two seats? And they were like, no, 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 it's just... They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Change things around. You already like, did. Here's your tickets. Planet. Not fully full, it's all right. Not f So... We like, went from, like, the plane was basically empty to... Well, it's not fully full. <laughs> we'll give you your ticket at the gate. So basically what happened was... Um, I get to the gate. She's so bad. From Kuwait to... She is so bad 
are trying to think of this lie on the fucking move. Bye, and there's a woman who comes up to me. Holy shit. And she says, here's your new ticket. The one surprising thing is that she's still drinking the Unicity. I uh, honestly thought that I was just gone. I thought we we're never going to see Unicity again. So I am kind of surprised about that. I'm not surprised that we're, we started off her time back in Canada with this like a purely fictitious story about how she only needed two seats, I guess, but only needed to buy one because in the kind of full, nearly full, a totally empty plane, they personally arranged it so she would have two seats for herself because they're like so nice to her specifically for some fucking reason. It's like, yeah, bro, whatever you want to say here. I printed a new boarding pass for you with your new seat number. Some numbers. And I said, nice. Numbers, and I surely. Said, okay, is that because they blocked off a seat beside it? Um, and she was like, and she assured me, yes, you know. So, all of oh, that just okay. to say, like. So, like, the assured bit, I, I'm assuming that means that someone's going to try and sit next to her and it's going to cause drama here in a second because I don't know. It's just like the way she worded it just kind of hints. There's like, oh, like, crazy stuff's coming. And it's just, bro, sure. It, it, every time you add something extra to an already bullshit story, you make it just seem more bullshit. They were so nice. Like, they pretty much gave me a free seat. Now, if the plane was fully full, I don't know if they would be even able to do that. And I might have to actually, I would have had to take, like, the next flight out or something. I don't wow, know. Wow, who knows? Or you so already that's why this tickets. experience kind she of made me realize that. She immediately, she immediately looks at the camera again. Uh, like I said, trying to check chat to see if people were fucking buying this nonsense. Uh, no, bro, you just would have, like, had to sit where you were sitting already with your already bought second seat. But, you know, I think from now on... For sure, if I have to fly, and if I'm if I don't lose any weight before I have to fly again, I have to buy two seats. She said this so, last video you know too. What? Like Jesus Christ, I can't that, believe it that. Gives you that extra level of uh, yeah. surety, you know, like okay. Then I you would have already done if you were like this is like, and I'm fine with doing that. If if you are are fine with that idea, you would have bought it to like she obviously did, you know, she obviously did, but she's trying to act like she didn't. And it's like the fact that you're acting like you didn't, I'm making up this big convoluted fucking nonsense story that you even looking at your face, you don't fucking believe means that you are not fine with that at least i know i have two seats no one's gonna sit beside me and i have that that peace of mind but their customer service is just phenomenal like they're so caring about the comfort of their customers basically wow customers basically so there's that now she, I pop a for 13 hours Holy i should have listened shit. and just put on compression stockings because when you're sitting at that level like when i i just i can't believe this is just like if this, if this like, incredibly fake like series of events is to be believed, this is just like a super morbidly obese woman, like constantly being stunned that like shit she reads online and people tell her online about traveling is a good idea. Like buying two seats or like having someone help you through the airport or wearing compression socks. Like not, not like all of this is like, yeah, yeah, bro. This, yep. Yeah, pretty, pretty obvious. When you're just sitting for 13 hours, even like eight hours is a long time to sit. I could feel is my it? legs getting more and more pain. Um, and I'm like, what's going on? You know, like, oh my gosh. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have a history of blood clots. Not in my limbs, but still, you know, that uh -huh. they can form there. And I'm thinking, how stupid <laughs> they am I? They can to form there. Compression stockings, I'm not prepared. I don't even know, like, where I... I just didn't think of the compression stockings or, you know, where to get them in Kuwait. Yeah, sure. So, uh, maybe, like, I don't know, like a sock shop. I don't know if there's a specific sock, sh sock shop, but where you buy socks. Or, like, Amazon... Like, you know, you know why Amazon exists and you can buy things online? You know why you order your groceries online? Probably, like, from a grocery store online as well. Like, some, something like that. It's, it started off with, like, she was thinking about doing it, but then she didn't think about doing it, and then she ha hadn't considered it at all, and then she thought she didn't need them, and then she, did, she wanted them, but she didn't know where to buy them. We changed the story, like, four different times in a sentence as to why she wasn't wearing compression socks. This is why I say, just plan your lines ahead of time. That's all you need to do. I can find them easily here in Canada. Anyway, I moved my legs around a lot. They, even on the screen, they remind you, stretch your legs, move your legs. So I was doing those exercises with my feet, and I was sure moving my are. legs around, and I was sure to <laughs> stop it from, you know, okay. uh, feeling sore. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't believe she was actually doing any form of stretch. I don't think she knows what a stretch is. For so once in a while, and restless, and just like, uh. And I noticed, like, last night, my feet, my legs, the bottom of my legs were swollen swollen yeah now this morning when i woke up isn't that obvious normal. sure so i had to sure i believe you. isn't that like obvious like remember like amberlin is like um, is the person who gets in a car and says if i'm in a car for an r i swell up you know like isn't foodie busy the same it wouldn't foodie like retain liquid like hasn't she talked about being swollen and all before isn't this like pretty fucking obvious 
raise my legs and they were just i was sitting for too long that's that's what that was wow so, really breaking news guys yeah they're like not swollen at all anymore so i just need that's indicative to me that i just needed to raise them up for a bit it was indicative guys so yeah i <laughs> i had to uh take out my winter boots it's it's so cold here and another yep. thing that i was shocked about i filled up the kia and i i didn't even yeah full tank it cost me 70 dollars okay you know and in kuwait it costs salah 20 dollars to fill it so it's okay. uh, it's a bit of a difference there, but I knew that. Is it? Well, firstly, your Kia would take a lot less fuel than an SUV. That's like the first thing. So if you're filling an SUV, like the SUV should have taken like a lot more. But are you talking like Kuwaiti dollar, like dinar? Are we talking Canadian dollar? She does change what currency she's talking in a lot. Like, is it likely a lot cheaper than Kuwait? Yes, because Kuwait is one of the biggest oil exporters like around. Like it would be more expensive, but oh, sorry, cheaper. But like everything else, that's why like. The, it's a higher cost of living there, you know, because everything else is more expensive because they have to import that shit. I guess it's all like standard. It's pretty like obvious shit, but like, cool, bro. I I don't know. And if I got back and it took me like I had to fill, fill my car, I would love that because it's like, well, I have a better independence again. I have a better freedom again. I can literally just get in my fucking car and drive. I don't need to have Salah show up from his other family to drive me around. Um. So yeah, I need to get my car taken care of i want to um uh, this thing is finally this thing is paid off sure so i have a car for a first time sure where i have it fully paid off so. remember the way there was she making like 20 to 30 grand a month at one point like that could have bought that like shitty suv the team suv in one month last time last time we saw it like it could have been but one month of her fucking like crackhead olympics money she could have bought that entire car but she has this shitty old car and that she apparently has finally finished paying off. I don't know how she finally finished paying it off when she was like hiding in Kuwait away from the Canadian tax man. So she wasn't paying her taxes, but she was continuing to make payments on her Kia. What? How, why would that make sense? Especially when she was trying to get rid of, remember, like she didn't want to go back to Canada. That was her intention. She was not going to go back to Canada at all, but she still paid off her Kia. Why would you be paying off your Kia? If you have no intention of returning to Canada, that doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? Oh, that's awesome. You know, I don't have to worry about that. I'm driving this thing into the ground. Yeah, you are it's literally. Not bad. There's people driving older cars on that on the road, whatever. So, and it, wow. it's sentimental at this point. This is a Foodie Beauty classic, okay? It's the Kia. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to get some service done on it though, because it's you know. Because it has you in it, like, because you're literally driving into the ground. Because the thing is probably like scraping its belly across the ground every single fucking inch it moves. Like, is this just, like, Amberlin? Like, I realize that Kia is, like, a central character, and it's probably more of a character than, like, Feline or anything ever was. But is this, like, Amber, where, like, they can't they can't just be famous. They want to make everything about them famous. Like, Amber with her, like, catchphrases. You know, Foodie obviously has her catchphrases as well. Beauty Bite, Beezer moment, all that kind of shit. But they have to make everything around them famous. It's like, my car. My car is a celebrity. My car is the kia because their narcissism just makes them think what's well, my car so it's clearly special i bet everyone thinks my car is, is interesting and cool as i do because it's the kia guys in a while um i had somebody start it for me once in a while but it's, oh you know, somebody oh and uh, the tires are good i have winter tires on um i want to get brake service i want to get a checkup on the car well obviously yeah and it has been driven it over a year that it, it's disgusting it's i love she's set, like just sitting on here telling us how disgusting her car is and it's like why didn't you just like immediately take it to a valet why wasn't that like the first thing you did why you're sitting in here getting ready to eat like your breakfast in here i guess so why aren't you like already like taking it to a valet to get it clean that's uh pretty warm you know it's like it's actually like really really warm wow so but yeah i might i might get a jacket i'm not sure i don't like wearing a big bulky jacket like i had a jacket remember last time i was yeah it said you just wore a big bulky abaya with like layers on underneath it randomly when you're in kuwait and thailand I, why, why would you want to wear something bulky in, in canada i never wore it because it was just too bulky and too hot so see, see, maybe if you like lost weight, i'm gonna I'm, I'm saying this again i know guys like i'm broken record here but maybe if you lost the weight it wouldn't feel so bulky because like you, you obviously feel bulky because you're wearing a big bulky jacket when you're already big and bulky. If you lost the weight, wearing the jacket would be like, it would just feel like normal. It would, just, it would be totally uninteresting to you. But if you're cold, it's like, I don't get it. It's like, I don't want to wear a, a jacket because I'm too warm, but it's too cold here. It's like, bro, I'm sorry, you're like fucking Goldilocks. You're, you're, you, you, you just can't have it just right, can you? You're just sitting here fucking complaining. 
pick something. I don't know, wear two fucking sweaters then if the bulky jacket is too bulky and too warm. Wear a second sweater. Wear long jaws. I don't fuck anything. Just stop complaining. We we already had like months and months of her complaining about the heat in Thailand, the heat in Kuwait. I don't want her to come back to Canada and just start complaining about the fucking coldness in Canada. But I have a winter toque uh, on top of my hijab. Wow, crazy. And yeah, so anyway, I wish that I got more clips of the Dubai airport. Well, you could have, it's but you should not a well-known airport, but you know what? It's not impressive. Like, it's, it's a well-known airport, guys. It's a well-known airport. <laughs> That's not the reason to do it. It's because you're a fucking travel vlogger. You're a travel vlogger. You're meant to show us your travel as opposed to like teleporting between planes. Like Doha's. I'm sorry, Dubai. Nothing personal. But, and it's so confusing, okay? Like, I had to just... I don't even know. Like, it was... It's, they take you in different, so many different areas. Wow. Um, there's like... There was nobody walking around just like if you needed help that I could see. They didn't have a lot of access to trolleys. I was just not sure. um, overall as impressed as I was. Why do you need a trolley? You had carry-on luggage. Why would you need a trolley? What? I, it just, she sounds so fucking spoiled. She really does just sound so fucking spoiled. Where clearly Salah had arranged like the, the flights to Thailand. So he had booked that person to give them a fucking drive across. Like I said, I, I, in my opinion, that is also why Foodie always used to book. Because he always said, oh, it's only an hour for my changeover, guys. That's why I need to have this. If it was only an hour, she 100% did that just so they would have to drive her. So she made her plan. Because now she has five hours, 45 minutes. And it's just like, oh, it's so confusing. That's why I didn't film any because it's so confusing. And I just didn't know what was happening. How would it take you six hours to work out an airport? But they're not that complicated. I was with Doha. Now, they do have a free taxi, like a cart to take you from, and, and a train and that. But uh -huh. I don't know. There was just something I didn't like about it. And sure. oh my gosh, did I wear my mask in the Dubai airport? Because honestly, everyone was sick. Like seizing. Sure. I don't know. And they were weird because we saw you and you didn't have your mask on. That's it's weird. But I'm just saying you, you clearly fucking didn't have your mask on, bro. But what why is she lying? Is it because she suddenly remembered the storyline the previous storyline when she came back from Thailand, she pretended to be sick for ages because she's trying to avoid all this fucking drama. And she's like, Oh, next time I travel, guys, I'm definitely gonna wear my mask. And then anytime we saw her, she did not have a mask on. Or like mask lines or anything like that. She just didn't. We're playing Christmas music. I don't technically celebrate Christmas, but the thing is, is like, it's ingrained in my culture. Like, I, grew I don't up technically celebrate Christmas. However, I will monetize it. Up with it. My whole family celebrates. Sure. Um, she is so You know, and I'm going to be seeing my family for Christmas, and I'm not celebrating the birth of Christ with them, but I'm celebrating <laughs> just as a family the winter vibes and all Jesus that stuff, Christ. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely <laughs> I'm not. Mixing yeah, the whatever, two guys. Here, but. Even last I'm night. I'm mixing the two cultures here. Well, you're not. You're just embracing their culture. You're not mixing the culture. You're not bringing in any of your own religion or your own. Oh, we're mixing the two cultures. Firstly, it's not your culture. <laughs> you're just not. It's Salah's culture that you just like randomly appropriate. But you're not bringing any of his culture with you. You're not. Like, you're just doing Christmas. Well, I'm just doing Christmas. I'm just not celebrating Christ. It's like that's not mixing the two cultures. That's just doing Christmas as an atheist. <laughs> it's, it's, what? It wasn't even like a full day that I didn't see Salah. Or it might have been a full day after the travel, but one day and I'm just yeah, like, sure. babe, I want to come home. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, she's also like freaking out on the, the live on our community post again. And I, I think it's not even deleted, but she posted up, um, like, guys, I don't know why people are saying I banned my animals. I would never abandon my animals. Uh, and then showed a picture of Julia and uh, Howie again to prove that they're with Salah and they're not being like abandoned. But it was the same picture she showed as like, the still images at the end of the last video. So it's like, wait, so you couldn't even get new pictures off them? That's the thing kind of suspicious. But it's just like, yeah, I wonder why people think that you would abandon your animals. It's just like, ah, oh, that, that's, a, that's a fucking riddle for me there. Oh, I miss you so bad. Sure. You know, um, that's okay. I mean, we communicate constantly throughout the day in video chat. We don't... Yeah, no sure. sure. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. So sure. So my plan going forward is to... Um, I have a list of things I have to do, especially for like appointments and things I have to take care of. Yeah, like my, my legal battle with FFG, which is definitely real and definitely is happening this time. I was really curious because uh, I'll take up some screenshots because I had been in the, the live stream not too long ago. And she was obviously in the, in the live stream having a bit of a, a meltdown. She's arguing with lots of people. It quickly got boring though because very quickly she had banned like everyone who had went in to make fun of her. So it just ended up being like... Her comments, like, 50% of the comments and, like, a couple of fucking bees. There's like, basically no one in the fucking thing. It was, like, really, really embarrassing. Like, how much are trying to push Salah as, like, a gaming channel and no one gives a shit? Because why would you give a shit? 
He's not an interesting person. He, he doesn't have funny commentary. He's not playing like even interesting games or anything like that. But she was obviously threatening to sue FFG, all the standards. So, and now I'm going to say, I actually did a tiny bit of research. It's only a tiny bit, so don't hold it against me if I'm not 100% right. But she mentioned that Hussey had won their defamation case. So that's why she felt like confident that she would beat FFG in defamation case. Now, I was just like, who the fuck is Hussey? <laughs> who the fuck is Hussey? I've never heard of this person before. So I typed up like Hussey defamation. And it took me a little while to find it. And it turned out, like, I searched for, like, healthy defamation girl world. Because I was like, well, you know, it must be girl world related. Because, like, if she's talking about it, it's why girl world related. So I ended up finding, like, a couple of, like, people talking about someone called Hussey. And they were talking about how he's, like, the craziest, weirdest person who's ever existed. All this kind of shit. And I was just like, okay, well, that's, like, this opinion. But if he's, if he's as bad as these people are saying he is then he de I, I don't imagine he could have won a defamation case because they're all saying the same thing about him over and over again, which implies that there must be some evidence to it. So I went looking and I eventually found The Gaining Grounds, who is someone I've only ever heard of in Cecil McFly's documentary on the fall of Hater Nation. That is the only time I've ever heard of this Gaining Grounds person before. And they were like talking about the court case. They're doing like a live report from like a... Like, or, or order of strength or something like that. I, I think that's what it was called. Uh, from like 10 months ago. And it was like a fucking... Like, Night, fever dream nightmare to shit see once the, the hussy person showed up because they were just losing their shit constantly they are someone who has like no self-control it seems and they were just constantly losing their shit at everyone in chat and like constantly arguing over like uh, getting grounds it was like a fucking nightmare and i finally looked into it enough and found out hussy did not actually win the lawsuit if you actually look at it in court, because it never got to court, because it was settled outside of court, because I think they were suing DC Media Girl, who is someone I have heard, like, I think they're in the, uh, the Hater Nation thing as well, I've heard the name before, definitely, and they had apparently been, like, slandering him, and they settled out of court, uh, and I, the, apparently neither of them can talk about this, so it's actually not entirely correct for Foodie to say, well, Hussey won his defamation case, because, well, he didn't take it to court, so it's it's possible that if he went to court, he may not have actually won. Just the DC media person apparently settled, uh, probably because they didn't want it to go public. I think there was like bits where they're freaking out that there are lots of people like watching it. They don't seem to be able to handle criticism well themselves either. So I, I it sounds like it probably was that that they were worried that they were going to lose that they didn't want all the negative public attention and they just like made a settlement, um, which would include not talking about the settlement in the future so they can try and save a bit of face. That's what it seems to be. So, like, just quickly saying for, like, people, for Chantal holding up Hussey won, but not really, because they got a settlement, which is not, like, winning in court. Unless FFG was willing to give a settlement to you, which I don't, don't think she was willing to do, you'd actually have to go to court, and it is unproven in court at the moment. Also, I think that with the Hussey person, they were calling him, like, a PDF file, to say it in YouTube-friendly terms, uh, and, like, a predator and shit like that. But also with FFG insulting foodie, she's calling her fat, uh, and saying she abused her animals, which she has, like, a, a vet's, like, note for. So, you know, it's a bit different calling someone a PDF file and calling them, like, a shit person who abuses their animals. Because, well, come on. So, I'm going to be doing that step by step and uh, visiting people that I miss here. Like Pete's? Also, I think she's in Pete's uh, chat recently. Looking for my own place. Oh, crazy. I haven't had my own, own apartment fully sure. on my own. But... Hasn't she had like two bankruptcies and like is still paying off like a massive like debt to the Canadian taxpayers? Isn't she like doing that right now? So I don't know. Would her credit be good enough for her to get her own place again? Are we just going to have the villa 2.0? Is she just going to get Pete's? Like, because like Pete, Pete's is currently living in some fucking 90 year old couple's attic, which, which he hasn't decorated or anything again. He just sits there looking miserable the entire time. I tried watching one of his live streams because I'd heard, oh, well, he was in and she was in his chat. And I tried to watch the most recent live stream and I was like, I'm good. I am just so, so good with like checking out any of this shit because it was so fucking boring. Um, so are we just going to get that again? Is she just going to get Pete's? To, because like Pete's is just like pathetic and he would just agree to it because he gets to be near a woman again, I guess. So is he just going to move out with her again? Because like, come on. Like the reason they couldn't do that previously was because the whole Salah thing, and she can't that uh, like she can't be with um a, a, a guy. You know, she's a married woman. She can't be with a guy. Are, are we really pretending this LARP is going to keep going? Uh, so, I think I lived alone for a very short period of time, and then I got a roommate a long time ago. I need. How to, come I her and Amber are like the same person? Place, even if it's just a studio or like a small one bedroom. They're like the same person. These days, I was looking like. My gosh, 
But yeah, I'm uh, prepared for that, you know, have everything Are you? ready for that. First and last. <laughs> I wonder how she's gonna, like, live without her bidet. Like, her wonderful bidet that was able to do the wiping for her without needing Pete's. <laughs> oh, I haven't, like, rented, taken care of, I haven't worried about that stuff in a while. Uh-huh, It's sure. like, I don't know, I feel like my own. She, like, looked at the camera again. I haven't had to pay rent or anything in a while. Looks at camera immediately to see if chat buys him. Keep for constantly forgetting that this is not actually a live stream. <laughs> did you guys buy that? Did you get, did you buy that, that I wasn't paying, like, how, like the, 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 the rent? Did you, did you buy Did you buy that, guys? I don't have to worry about that stuff in Kuwait, you know? It's a lot to care about. Yeah, sure. Like, rental stuff. But yeah, I definitely. I you know, do it myself. And, yeah, de and totes. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get my own little place. I... Remember, this is the woman who bought, like, a discount car brand and thought it was, like, the biggest flex ever on her fucking haters. And has a car so unsafe that they give you a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and she was, like, trying to flex on the fucking haters until everyone found out, like, the price of it. And everyone fucking laughed at her for it. Because she was trying to make it sound like she had just bought, like, a Rolls Royce or, like, the top-end Bentley or something like that. But she's like, oh, don't worry, Salah took care of it. Because she's still desperately trying to convince us that Salah is uber-rich. If Salah was uber rich, you wouldn't have been... I was thinking about buying a second... You would have just bought a second seat. You wouldn't have been sitting in coach. You'd have been sitting in first class. If Salah is as uber rich as you keep pretending he is, you would have been flying in first class. You would have had the entire row to yourself to make sure that his darling wife is comfortable. It wouldn't have been a thought on, should we get a second seat? That falcon that fucking flew, it probably had a more comfortable time than you did. Yeah. I know somebody who has, a, I, I was talking to a friend recently in their room, they showed me their, they redid their room. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I wanna, I wanna set up, I said, you gotta help sure. me. You know, I said, you have to help me when I get my place, let's have a girls night and uh -huh. just do my room. Well, my room kind of like yours. They're not even night now, I'm down. They're literally still just be talking about moving with Pete's <laughs> Um, I don't know, is it like the aunt? Is she gonna be moving with the aunt? I've heard people like say that. I'm sorry, like, I don't believe she has friends. I just, I don't. There's nothing about this woman that would suggest that she has friends. I think someone said Missy Moo or something like that. Or someone like suggested like one of like the weirdos who like hangs around her chat. Like something like that. Because outside of YouTube, she doesn't really seem to have any friends. There's never any, oh, I'm going to hang out with my friends tonight. I'm going to do this with my friends tonight. There's never anything like that. The only person she ever had was Pete's. You have to take me shopping at your little hidden spots. Uh -huh. But when I get my own place, I will definitely um, do the decoration, decorating with you guys. Wow, definitely. And um, show you guys the end results and stuff like that. Uh you see, like, people who are, like, I don't know, worried about, like, being away from their husband. Uh, they love their husband so much that they don't want to ever be away from him. But now she's talking about getting her own place and taking us on, on the decoration tour as she makes it her own little house. And she's like, bro, how long are you meant to be away for? Like, like... I, I, I joked, if Sal is like super rich especially, wouldn't you be traveling back and forth to Kuwait over and over again to see him, like only really hanging around Canada for your um, required uh, like appointments and all through the, the healthcare service that you're trying to exploit? Wouldn't you be doing that? Wouldn't you be like traveling back and forth a lot? But she is like, makes it sound like, this is going to be my home. I'm never going to go back to Kuwait. She's already talking like that. Um, I think I also want to do some videos just like exploring different areas of Canada that I like, like sure. that I'm used to. Or, of is she, rip town is she death, ripping off like um, uh, French right girls? So, yeah. um, I have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Thank sure. you. Does she? She doesn't really have a lot of new subscribers. She has this weird thing where she's trying to pretend that she has been getting like a lot of positive reception on her videos and all recently, and she just hasn't. Like, she just hasn't. In my opinion, like, she is just slowly loading up on sock popper accounts hoping to get to 100,000, then in my opinion, that is what she's doing. Because, I don't know, like, where would she get the new subscribers from? Her likes to dislike ratio is turned off, which means she's dead in the algorithm. She, like, it's just, I don't know, review bombs pretty much everywhere. She's re reported constantly. She is not someone that's actually promoted in the algorithm. She doesn't get new subscribers. In my opinion, every one, single one of them is just like, I don't know, some fucking sock puppet. I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I literally I do, just mentioned it. Holy shit. I want special for you guys because you deserve it for following well, me for so long. So I really appreciate that. So yeah. I but no one, no one still follows you from all the way back there. Even in like the, the chat with Salas thing, she was complaining about plain cheeseburgers. Someone said, where's plain, where plain cheeseburger? Who, who gives a shit? They left me over nothing. You know, so, 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 like, because they don't have their old followers. They don't have, hi there. I've been following you for 10. They don't have people like that because everyone has gone against them.
Like, they might slowly get, like, one or two new people, I guess, maybe, over time, who are, like, insane people who see them on hate again, and just, like, join them because they want to feel like, I'm a, look, I'm such a nice person. I'm joining this person who's bullied. Aren't I so nice? That kind of, like, mentality of person, which is not good because those people, like, people with, like, savior complexes are not good people anyway. Like, that's maybe all she has. She doesn't have, like, oh, yeah, John, who followed me since, I don't know, 2017. So that's it. I talked a lot. I'm going to go have a nice breakfast for myself. Uh-huh. Um, and the halal, maybe, or something. I don't know. Whatever I have, I might insert a little picture here for you. I might insert at the oh, end. Oh, yay. So I just wanted to catch up a little bit. I missed you guys. I just needed a bit of a break. Um, just to unwind. Did and you? mentally, you know, decompress. This is, this is like less than 24 hours after the last video. <laughs> I needed a bit of a break. Bro, you've uploaded two times in three days. I've been just emotionally... Out of whack sometimes. Uh -huh. I don't like you. Angered, and when I get like that, wow. I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna log off for like a day or two. <laughs> this this was posted shortly before, like the community tab post dropped, and before she went into Salah's side chat and was in arguing with everyone. Like she was like block. If you were watching it live, she was like blocking people and then responding to them after like they were blocked. So she wasn't even like giving people a chance to react. She was like like. She, she didn't type first and then go and block them. She blocked them and then typed out her message to them. Like, because she's like so obsessed with getting the own on her hater. She's so obsessed with dunking on them that she doesn't even give you a chance to respond. She makes sure you're blocked first before she then starts trying to shit talk you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to really try hard just to give attention to all the positive things in my life. Because I feel very blessed things? and grateful. And, you know, especially for you guys too. Like, what positive I don't know things? what the future holds, but... Um, we will see. Wow, she really is talking like she's never going back to Kuwait. There's no talk about going back to Kuwait at all. It's like, I don't, I don't know what the future holds, guys. Hint, 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 hint. Like, the, the, the hijab will be off soon here, guys. I'm, I'm done. I'm fucking done with this shit. So, yeah, it's bittersweet. Oh I miss my, my husband so much and my pets. Sure, yeah. By the way, my pets are being super taken care of by... My pets are being super by, um, by... Why would you include that bit? When you have to be, uh, trying to think of how your pets are being taken care of. Look at this fucking face. Salah. He's the pet. By, uh, Sal Salah, my, my husband. How, how, how could I forget that? Well, that was a bit fucking suspicious, wasn't it? By, uh, Sal Salah. Salah, yeah, yeah, my husband. That, that guy. That is fucking hell, bro. Jesus, that is such a bad look. I don't worry about them. And sure. And will be reunited, inshallah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, Bye. that was so awkward. Uh-huh. Wow, this is a very close-in view. I can't wait for you to pan out and see it, show the rest of it. Are we seriously getting, like, 15 seconds? Just, like... Slight zoom in, zoom out on the food. Like, it's weird that we're zooming in and out on the food, but we're like staying like this close to it. We're not like moving slightly to the left or the right or up here or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I think this video makes it very blatant that like the Q8 arc is over. She is talking like it is well and truly dead right now. She's not really talking about her health issues at all. Like, she's not, then what's, what's next for me? There's, she's not talking about her health appointments or anything like that, or her health concerns. It is like, I want to get a new house and like, have a girl's night out and decorate it and go out shopping. I was like, are you, are you not going to have that life-saving medical treatment that you were like claiming that you, whatever? No, no, it's about girl's night out and shopping. Okay, bro. Oh, uh, really bad video. <laughs> but I guess, I guess I'm a wee bit excited. The, the QA arc is finally over. Thank God. That's going to be the video, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.